having food access was really important for me. I saw the type of issues it caused in my family with diabetes and health disease and, and heart disease and things like that. <laughs> Hello and happy Friday, everyone. My name is Joe Pate. I am the owner and founder of Region Aquaculture. And today I wanted to share with you um, a little bit of why I do what I do and what, if it, and what it is that drives me and why I'm in aquaponics uh, in regenerative ag, which is something you know I don't get to talk about often. Uh, so for myself, you know, I kind of got into this industry really at a young age, even before I knew about aquaponics and things like that. And it was because um, I had this mindset that if I was going to do something with my life, it would be something that I felt worth living. You know, I wanted to live a life worth living. And for me, um, I found that I really enjoyed helping people and working with them. And I, growing up, was very poor and had limited access to food, and, you know, quality food at least. And most of the time relied on, you know, the help of friends or donations from the local food kitchen or, or you know, the uh, church and things like that. And so I decided, you know, as I got older that having food access was really important for me. I saw the type of issues it caused in my family with diabetes and health disease and, and heart disease and things like that. And, um, it was the thing in my life I saw that was really wrong and that I figured I would spend my life trying to fix, you know, or trying to help improve. Uh, and so when I was in high school, I came across aquaponics, uh, you know, almost uh, by accident. Um, I it got really interested in growing algae for biofuel because I thought I wanted to, you know, be in that industry and, you know, help create this renewable energy sources. But I, I after my first year of college, I started becoming more increasingly aware of, you know, how many people were just like me and have limited access to food and really how important food was into, you know, growing a, a healthy human. And so uh, I made a shift where I decided uh, I don't want to grow, you know, algae for the biofuel industry anymore. And instead, I want to start growing food. I want to feed people. And uh, I, my degree at the time was uh, sustainability and environmental studies was my major and I had another major in agriculture and a minor in chemistry and I, I changed all of that and switched schools and joined uh, Kentucky State University and, and joined their aquaculture program and um, really got my start there in terms of learning everything that I could. Um, I didn't know anything about plant on really fish. I knew quite a bit about plants from my mom, who was a horticulturist and, you know, taught me kind of that connection with the earth and listening to, you know, how the plants communicate with us and feeling the energy flow through them. And, and you know, some of that hippie stuff that we hear about, um, I learned at, at a young age and then um, started doing aquaponics, started learning more, growing food, started, you know, donating that food to the local food kitchen. And, you know, just seeing how happy it made those people who, you know, were one, one day I like me, like I was when I was younger. And uh, so it was just a, an extraordinary feeling um, to be able to provide food for somebody and to give them, you know, something that, it, that we take for granted, a lot of us. Um, and so, and, and for it to be a quality, not something from a freezer. And so, you know, those kind of things, really uh, drove me towards this mindset of I want to help people, I want to feed people, and um, I don't want to do that in the my mainstream way that degrades our ecosystems. I want to make sure that the way I farm not only, you know, uh, grows food for myself, but grows food for the rest of the environment. You know, I wanted to grow food for the birds, I want to grow food for the bees, for the microbes, uh, and, you know, and to do that, you know, we have to start looking more regeneratively. Um, and, and towards that mindset. So, you know, that's my main focus right now. I hope that, you know, you all kind of enjoyed hearing a little bit about what drives me and why I do what I do. And I hope that you comment on this video and maybe we hear a little bit about why you do what you do and what got you into aquaponics. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of the Friday. And this is Joe Pate signing out.